Good evening. The brother of Charlie Rowley from Amesbury has told ITV News that the Novichok victim looks like a skeleton after speaking to him for the first time since he was poisoned. In an exclusive interview, Matthew Rowley said he doesn't know if his brother will fully recover. Well, Charlie Rowley is now helping police in their investigation and has been told that his partner Dawn Sturgis died after coming into contact with the nerve agent. Well, let's go live now to Sangeeta Lau, who's outside Salisbury District Hospital. Sangeeta, what's the latest there? Well, this is the first glimmer of hope in an unprecedented story. Charlie is talking and conscious, and today his brother Matthew was able to visit him for the first time in hospital since the incident. But although this is a positive development, his brother Matthew says Charlie is still very unwell. He is awake and he's talking, making sense. Uh, but he's, he's like a skeleton at the moment. A lot of tubes coming out of him, a hell of a lot. Um, and he was connected to another set of monitors this side and he's still intensive care mm. uh, and I, the nurse said he will be here for some time because it's still critical condition mm. but she said it, because he's talking now and eating it, it, it's getting better that's a good sign but it's still 50-50 Well, officers are now trying to work with Charlie. Obviously, it's still very early days in his recovery, but they are trying to speak to him to piece his and Dawn Sturgis's movements together before they fell ill. They hope this could provide vital information on where and what this contaminated vessel is. There are around 100 counter-terrorism detectives working on this case, and the military are working with Wiltshire Police. Today, they provided these air conditioning units to officers investigating at Charlie's home in Amesbury. Because in this heat wave that we're all experiencing, officers there are struggling in their protective clothing. They can only really last about 20 minutes before they get too hot. So it's hoped this will speed investigations along. But now the focus is on finding that contaminated vessel. And it's hoped conversations behind these closed doors could have the answer. Sangeeta Lal at Salisbury District Hospital. Thank you.